While installing a Nest thermostat can be a fairly simple process on most systems, there are occasions where something goes wrong. We're going to cover three common problems and how to solve them quickly and easily. One of the most common issues that arises after a new install is when the system blows out hot air instead of cold air. Blowing hot air likely means you wired it according to the conventional row on your old thermostat instead of that heat pump row. If you took a picture of your old thermostat's wiring before installing the Nest, go back to that picture and label the wires according to the heat pump side of the thermostat instead of the conventional side. Always make sure to turn the correct breakers off before performing any kind of wiring. On my thermostat, the heat pump row was below the wires, where the conventional row was above the wires. Head on over to the Nest compatibility website below and enter in those wire labels from the other side of the row from your old thermostat. You can also restart the process of adding the thermostat within the Nest app, which will bring you back to the interactive wiring guide. This interactive guide will provide a little more detail and can be handier than the website. Again, make sure you look at the colors of the wires related to the bottom row on the old thermostat, not the top one. Once you get it all wired correctly, the thermostat will detect the correct wires and you should be in business, blowing refreshing cold air this time. The first time I hooked up my Nest, it told me there was no power running to the R wire and the system wouldn't turn on at all. This one's a little more tricky to troubleshoot than the previous issue, but is probably easier to fix. There are likely three possible reasons that might cause this problem, so let's take a look at the breaker first. You should always make sure your breakers are off before opening the air handler or performing any kind of wiring, which is great for this first step. While you're at the breaker, check to see if one of the breakers themselves got tripped. Sometimes a breaker will get tripped, which is normally denoted by the switch sitting in between the on and off locations. Flip that offending breaker off, and then back on again, and then check to see if your system has power. Sometimes it's not as quick as that, but it can still be relatively simple. My old thermostat had a single R wire, which was bridged to an RH wire on the thermostat itself with a little piece of metal. Some others might have an RC bridged to an RH, or some combination thereof. Nest separates the RC and RH wires, but if there's only one wire, it should go into the RH port. If that doesn't work, try putting the red wire in the RC port to see if it registers. My system, of course, ended up being the least obvious issue, which is a blown fuse found inside the air handler. Mine required a few screws to be removed before I could get that door off, but once I popped it open, I found a small 5 volt fuse inside that was obviously blown. Replace that fuse with a good one, which should only cost you a few bucks at most and can be found at your local hardware store. Close that system back up, turn those breakers back on, and you should be good to go. The first time I installed my Nest, I found that the mounting was frustrating and didn't click in very well, and I constantly had issues even just setting the thermostat up because the button wouldn't click at all and then it would eventually reboot the thermostat. What I found was that the wires behind the unit were getting in the way. My old thermostat had a bit of a rat's nest of wires inside and just needed a fresh snip on the ends. It's important to note that the button on the front of the Nest thermostat isn't actually a button at all, it's just the best place to push the whole unit inward instead, meaning that if the thermostat isn't fully connected to the wiring disc or flush with the wall, you won't be able to click the thermostat in to select things. I'm not a huge fan of this design, but it is what it is. Let's start by pulling the thermostat off the mounting disc and making sure that the mounting disc is secure. All of these wires need to be flush with the inside part of the disc or else the thermostat doesn't have a way to click in and may even fall off the wall if not inserted properly. Take a picture of the current wiring just to cover all your bases. You can never have enough references, of course. Bonus points if you label each wire as you pull it out. Use a pair of wire cutters to snip each wire back a bit and restrip them so that you've got fresh copper to work with and, most importantly, less mess. The original length of my wires made them protrude a bit from the wall, thus keeping the thermostat from properly clicking into the base. Get those wires reinserted and nice and flush with the inside of the disc and you should find the thermostat is now super easy to pop in the base and go and will properly click as well. Did those help at all? Let us know in the comments below and please click that subscribe button if you want to see more. We cover the gamut of tech both here and at androidheadlines.com 
so be sure to visit the site for daily news coverage. Thanks for watching, and until next time.